Hey guys, it's Carl CDC, and today I'm reviewing the Sevra F701. This was given to me by my sister for my birthday back in July. So it's been uh, almost, well, not quite a year, but it's been almost a year of me using it every day. Uh, I don't usually draw every day, but I do take notes. Usually a login jotter notebook like this one. So I carry this in my backpack or my pocket, and every now and then I... I guess I do draw a little bit, some ideas down, etc. But usually it's just me taking notes. You know, I start by the date and whatever. I move forward, but okay, so in the positives, we'll start right with the positives. I guess we should measure this thing, right? So this thing's overall length is five and a quarter inches, as you can see from the lines on my mat. So in the positives, and the reason why I liked this thing immediately was because of its full metal construction. I didn't know what the price was because I got it for free. Uh, the next thing I really enjoyed about this pen was the knurling down here, which is perfectly situated for where I need it at all times. The next thing I really liked about it was the way it writes and the way it draws. Um, I'm going to be overlaying me drawing the, <laughs> the everyday carry graffiti I had earlier. Uh, just for you to see how it writes and how nice it it uh, just flows. The next thing I like about this thing in the positives was the pocket clip. It was just very, very simple. Uh, very nice. I just I usually clip this on either my shirt or my pants or if I have a shirt like a uh, sometimes I have a red cap it clips right on anything and it has good enough retention that it hasn't fallen off my pockets actually I carry it every day and it's now been let's see five and four months it's, now it's been nine months and it did fall out of my pocket once and it landed on the floor of my exterior so you know it but I mean I carry it every day you know usually people would have this on a desk or a backpack I don't know what you would be doing with it, but to me, it is a tool as a construction worker that I use on the daily. Also, as a hobby, I review knives and gear. I would appreciate a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it puts a smile on my face. So like I said, I just write down whatever notes on whatever day. And because it's pretty lightweight, it's about an ounce, but it's very lightweight, even though it's full metal construction and it's not super expensive, which puts me or brings me to mention the price on this thing it's phenomenal it's about seven eight dollars per unit uh, so we'll, let's do some size comparison so this is the, the f301 in blue and it's a little bit shorter just a little tiny bit same pocket clip but it's not full metal construction and this one will run you around three dollars so i bought a packet for 10 and i think i got three or four of them I also have the one in black. I, I like Seaver pens. I, I do enjoy them. And uh, yeah, about the same size, but they're, these are cheaper. I would rather have the full metal ones, but I, I, I do have more pens just in case. Uh, this is a Parker. It's a very nice pen, in my opinion. Uh, a Sharpie. As you can see, the Sharpie is a lot thicker, but just about as tall. So it's a pretty standard uh, size for a pen. Mm, I bought this recently because I like the F701 so much. I bought the PM701, which is a permanent marker, which I use for work daily. So I've stopped using Sharpies and started using the Zebra. The cartridge remains sharper for a lot longer, and it's just nicer to have a full metal construction a pen with me and this is a uniball i bought this because i saw uh, bill gates uh, using these a lot in his documentary on netflix inside bill bill's mind but it kind of sucks as a pen for me but here you have it this is some of the pens i use i stick with this one mostly i don't have a spare one this is the only one i have my sister gave it to me i flame torch the tip as well which is pretty cool so in the negatives in the negatives there's no easy way uh, if you bend this clip there's no easy way to take it off and rebend it so if i was to redesign this pen i, I would just have something i would just thread this easier so that you can rebend the clip in case you bend it out or something. Other than that, um, the clicky mechanism feels pretty standard, um, which is okay. I mean, it's eight dollars, but other than that, I don't see too many negatives on this thing. Again, full metal construction. You can just toss this across 
the shop and yeah you might hit the guy in the face or or the chest or something instead of them catching it but you're not worried about your pen <laughs> your pen's gonna be fine if you toss it across the shop if you cross it across the parking lot and it does help and like hey i need a pen you toss your pen and if it's like a nicer pen you're worrying about scratching it or breaking it but this is a full metal construction very engineer aesthetic pen so you just toss it across that may be another negative it's not like you know boardroom material because it's really engineering i mean i can see this in a machine shop or a mechanic shop just tossed in the toolbox but other than but i like that and that's that that's my life that's what i do although the cartridge i mean it's pretty simple easy cartridge and it's also metal so i'm not afraid of it either um uh, pretty easy to replace pretty affordable uh, made in China, which may or may not um, be a negative for you. But yeah, there you have it. This was my review of the F701. Uh, please have a great day.